Okay. So uh, now that we have understood the theoretical knowledge about if else sections, we will implement it in C programs to, and we will uh, solve a few examples. I will show you a few programmings so that you understand that how these things are being executed. Okay. So these things will be same. Suppose write a program that uh, to determine whether a person is eligible to vote or not. To eligible to vote. Fine. So I will just determine a person will enter his age and it will only show whether he is eligible to vote or not. If it is not, I am not showing anything. So I do not need anything in the uh, L section. I can just take the age of the person and I can only show that he is eligible to vote or that's it. So here I can do what? Uh, I can use a printf statement. which will say that enter the age of the person and I will take the person's age in a variable named uh, age. Since I have taken age, I will have to declare age also. Fine. And the condition is if your age is greater or equal to 18, then it will. So if the text condition, test expression, the condition, then statement block under if and in the block, what will it print? It should print that um, you are eligible to Fine. Fine. So this is my test expression for my if condition. That is my if condition. And this is the statement block pertaining to if. And these are the statement x, which I have written in the theory. So I will just run this program. So enter the age of the person 32. You are eligible to vote. Fine. Suppose I am entering enter the age of the person 10. It is showing nothing, right? Fine. In the same problem, if I say that it will show me whether or not I am eligible to vote or not, then I need to have a L section also. Fine. The L section and the block pattern into L section and the below, so these are the X statements. So now let us come... 32, you are eligible to vote. 10, you are not eligible to vote. So what happened? If this condition is true, this statement blocks, these statement blocks are executed and the statement will jump to statement X. Okay. And if this condition is false, that is 10 is not greater or equal to 18, it won't enter into the if conditions. It will execute the L section and the statement X. So this was the condition of if and if else. Okay. Now, since I have a single statement under the if condition, I may not use the bracket. Same if I have a single st statement under any of the conditions, I may not use the bracket. But if I have more than one statement, I will have to use the bracket. Okay. So the good programming way is to always use the bracket. Fine. See, let us see and run without it. See, it is running. No issues. Okay. Okay. Let us do another program to determine whether... A given number is even or odd. So suppose I will enter the number. 
okay and i will suppose i am taking it in num fine here also i will have to change to num fine now what will be the condition the condition will be if my number is divided by 2 and it leaves zero remainder that means that is even and if this is not the case that means it is false so for taking the value of the remainder we take the modulus operator right so if my num variable is uh, divided by 2 that is the remainder that i will get is equal to 0 then it will print that this is even number and if this is not the case it will print that this is odd number as simple as that Remember, I will not use the equal to operator. This is not assignment. This is checking, right? Equality operator. This is a checking. This is not assignment operator. Fine. What will happen if I use the assignment operator? That I will also show you. For checking, we use the equality operator, the checking operator, matching operator. Fine. So just let us run this program. Enter the number 42. This is even number. And if I again run this number, enter the number 53, this is odd number. Fine. Now, if I use the equal operator, assignment operator instead of this, now see what happens. See? Okay. So, always remember, you will have to use the equal checking operator, equality operator. Fine. So, this is another example of if else. Um, I can say that uh, write a program uh, write a program uh, to enter a character and determine whether it's a vowel or not. I will try to show as many examples or as possible, but it is not uh, like I will not be able to show thousand examples on each topic because in, if I do that, I won't be able to finish all the topics. So uh, for a single topic, thousand sorts, types of programs are there. So you yourself need to execute those in your terminals and you need to increase your efficiency, okay? I will show you a few examples in order which will help you to grasp the topic. So write a program to enter a character and determine whether it is vowel or not. So a character will be entered and it will show whether it is vowel or not. Since a character will be entered, it will be cat. Let us, the variable I am taking as A. Fine. So the printf statement will be enter the character and the scanf will have percentage d comma the variable is m person a fine everything is done now after the character is entered what it will check it will check if the character the, the character that is entered that is the what the variable a will have as a result okay uh, let us not take this as variable a it will create confusion why i am telling you because we will tally it now with a e i o u so if the character uh, that you entered so that is saved in the variable ch now the value which variable ch uh, has if it is equal to A, or
if it is equal to e or if it is equal to i or if it is equal to o or if it is equal to u if any of the cases is true so i have used or or means any of the cases is true it will give me the result that it is a uh, vowel now i the letters can be in capital also so i can write like this or Fine. So the user will input some letter. It will be saved in the in the variable ch. So the value that the variable ch will have, I am comparing. If that value is a equal to either any of the cases, I have used the or operator, not the and operator. A e i o u in small or a e i o u in capital, then it will print. Since it's a single statement, again, I am not using any brackets. Uh, this is vowel. And if this is not the case, else it will print. This is not vowel. As simple as that. So let us execute it. So suppose I am entering the character V. This is not vowel. Fine. Again, I am entering the character E. This is vowel. Right? Fine. So this was an example to see that uh, enter a character and we determine whether it's a uh, vowel or not. So like this, a lot of programs can be there that uh, write a program to find whether a given year is a leap year or not. So you take uh, one variable named year in that you give some certain year and you uh, divide. So if the year is modul modulus operator of four gives you zero, that means it's a leap year. So like this, it can happen. Hmm. Uh, so a uh, lot of examples can be said to prove the if else uh, statements. So, but remember that uh, one pitfall is there that uh, instead of using this checking operator, equality operator, most of the times the new beginners, they use the assignment operator. So do not use the assignment operator, use the equality operator for checking, okay? So this was a few examples uh, for, uh, mm, use of if, if else. Now we will show a few examples of if else if, nested if else, right? So okay, so write a program uh, uh, that uh, we will enter two numbers and uh, it will show, uh, write a program to enter two numbers and uh, show which one is bigger. Suppose this is the case. Fine. So I will take two numbers. Which one is bigger or smaller or equal? It will show me everything. Fine. So I will take two numbers. So suppose I am using that uh, Enter the 
first number and that i am taking in variable x suppose you can take any variable num1 x a b anything variable name can be anything fine and the second number suppose i am taking it in uh, y okay so since i have taken it i will uh, declare it fine so it's taken now what can be the cases the first case can be that suppose both the number are equal this can be one case and if this is the case it will print that uh, both numbers are equal what can be the second case else if what can be the second case that x is greater than y if this is the case then it will print that first number is greater right and if both of them are not the case that is the first number is not greater and the both the number of not equal then it's very obvious that second number is good the last option that is remainder hai na so this is the case so here we have used the nested if else condition why did we have to use it see two conditions are there so for one condition the if part went and for another condition the else if went and if both the conditions are not true then whatever in this in the else section it will execute that now again since there is a single statement to execute in the statement block pertaining to the true of if block so i have not given the bracket open bracket close like this okay else if there are more than one statements you need to grip the bracket open and bracket close. Okay, so enter the first number twelve. Enter the second number twenty three. So the second number is greater. Fine. Uh, enter the first number twenty three. Enter the second number twelve. The first number is greater. Uh, then enter the first number twelve. Enter the second number twelve. Both numbers are equal. Right. So this is the example of a if else if uh, program. Same way, another program can be that write a program to test whether a number entered is positive, negative, or equal to zero. So here, what will happen? You will take one number. Hmm. So if the number is equal to zero, you will say the number is equal to zero. Else if. If the number is greater than zero, you will say the number is a positive. Else, if both of them are not the cases, the number is a negative. Simple as simple as that. So, like we depending on what uh, we want, uh, we improvise our uh, if else loops. So, a lot of lot of programs can be there, right? So. for the this video i will stop here and few other uh, programs will be there a few three four programs on the if else segment i will uh, show those are a bit bigger programs so i want you to execute this programs and uh, be comfortable in this so that i can make you show the bigger programs also okay so thank you